Hey everyone, Mr. Subject here again with a, another read aloud. So after two long months, I was finally able to get back into my classroom. Now, one of the first things I brought home when I got back into my classroom was some more books to do some more read alouds with you guys. So today we are actually going to start with one of my favorites to begin the year with. And this book's called Chrysanthemum. And the author is Kevin Hankies. Now, Chrysanthemum is one of my favorite books, and Kevin Hankies is one of my favorite picture book authors because he loves to show feelings in his books, and he likes to show that feelings are okay. Chrysanthemum is a little girl who's starting school, and she's very proud about her name. She comes into question with how she feels about her name when people start picking on her about it. But let's get into the story. Before we start, I want to know how many letters are in your name. Let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, let's get started. Chrysanthemum by Kevin Hanks. Chrysanthemum by Kevin Hankies. The day she was born was the happiest day in her parents' lives. She's perfect, said her mother. Absolutely, said her father. And she was. She was absolutely perfect. Her name must be everything she is, said her mother. Her name must be absolutely perfect, said her father. And it was Chrysanthemum. Her parents named her Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum grew and grew and grew. And when she was old enough to appreciate it, Chrysanthemum loved her name. She loved the way it sounded when her mother woke her up. She loved the way it sounded when her father called her for dinner. And she loved the way it sounded when she whispered it to herself in the bathroom mirror. Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum loved the way her name looked when it was written with ink on an envelope. She loved the way it looked when it was written with icing on her birthday cake. And she loved the way it looked when she wrote it herself with her fat orange crayon. Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum thought her name was absolutely perfect. And then she started school. On the first day, Chrysanthemum wore her sunniest dress and her brightest smile. She ran all the way. Hooray, said Chrysanthemum. School. But when Miss Chud took roll call, everyone giggled upon hearing Chrysanthemum's name. Miss Chud, Don, Eve, Lois, Al, Les, Kay, Max, Sue, Bill, Pat, Tom, Sam, Ken, Joe, Rita, Victoria, Chrysanthemum. It's so long, said Joe. It scarcely fits on your name tag, said Rita, pointing. I'm named after my grandmother, said Victoria. You're named after a flower. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. The rest of the day was not much better. During nap time, Victoria raised her hand and informed Miss Chud that Chrysanthemum's name was spelled with 13 letters. That's exactly half as many letters as there are in the entire alphabet, Victoria explained. Thank you for sharing with us, Victoria, said Miss Chud. Now put your head down. If I had a name like yours, I'd change it, said Victoria, as the students lined up to go home. I wish I could, 
thought Chrysanthemum miserably. Welcome home, said her mother. Welcome home, said her father. School is no place for me, said Chrysanthemum. My name is too long. It scarcely fits on my name tag, and I'm named after a flower. Oh, pish, said her mother. Your name is beautiful. And precious and priceless and fascinating and winsome, said her father. It's everything you are, said her mother. Absolutely perfect, said her father. Chrysanthemum felt much better after her favorite dinner, macaroni and cheese with ketchup, and an evening filled with hugs, kisses, and parcheesi. That night, Chrysanthemum dreamed that her name was Jane. It was an extremely pleasant dream. The next morning, Chrysanthemum wore her most comfortable jumper. She walked to school as slowly as she could. She dragged her feet in the dirt. Chrysanthemum, 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 she wrote. She even looks like a flower, said Victoria as Chrysanthemum entered the playground. Let's pick her, said Rita, pointing. Let's smell her, said Joe. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. The rest of the day was not much better. During nap time, Victoria raised her hand and said, Chrysanthemum is a flower. It lives in a garden with worms and other dirty things. Thank you for sharing with us, Victoria, said Miss Chud. Now put your head down. I just cannot believe your name, Victoria said as the students lined up to go home. Neither can I, thought Chrysanthemum miserably. Welcome home, said her mother. Welcome home, said her father. School is no place for me said Chrysanthemum. They said I even look like a flower. They pretended to pick me and smell me. Oh, pish, said her mother. They're just jealous and envious and begrudging and discontented and jaundiced, said her father. Who wouldn't be jealous of a name like yours, said her mother. After all, it's absolutely perfect, said her father. Chrysanthemum felt a trifle better after her favorite dessert, chocolate cake with buttercream frosting, and another evening filled with hugs, kisses, and parcheesi. That night, Chrysanthemum dreamed that she really was a chrysanthemum. She sprouted leaves and petals. Victoria picked her and plucked the leaves and the petals one by one until there was nothing left but a scrawny stem. It was the worst nightmare of Chrysanthemum's life. Chrysanthemum wore her outfit with seven pockets the next morning. She loaded the pockets up with her most prized possessions and her good luck charms. Chrysanthemum took the longest route possible to school. She stopped and stared at each and every flower. Chrysanthemum, 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 the flowers seemed to say. That morning, the students were introduced to Miss Twinkle, the music teacher. Her voice was like something out of a dream, as was everything else about her. The students were speechless. They thought Miss Twinkle was an indescribable wonder. They went out of their way to make a nice impression. Miss Twinkle led the students in scale. Then she assigned roles for the class musical. Victoria was chosen as the Dainty Fairy Queen. Rita 
was chosen as the Spiffy Butterfly Princess. Joe was chosen as the all-important Pixie Messenger. And Chrysanthemum was chosen as a daisy. Chrysanthemum, the daisy, the daisy, the daisy. Joe, Rita, and Victoria chanted, thinking it was wildly funny. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. What's so humorous? asked Miss Twinkle. Chrysanthemum was the answer. Her name is so long, said Joe. It scarcely fits on her name tag, said Rita, pointing. I'm named after my grandmother, said Victoria. She's named after a flower. My name is long, said Miss Twinkle. It is, said Joe. My name would scarcely fit on a name tag said Miss Twinkle. It would, said Rita, pointing. And, said Miss Twinkle, I'm named after a flower, too. You are? said Victoria. Yes, said Miss Twinkle. My name is Delphinum, Delphinum Twinkle. And if my baby is a girl, I'm considering chrysanthemum as a name. I think it's absolutely perfect. Chrysanthemum could scarcely believe her ears. She blushed. She beamed. She bloomed. Chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum. Joe, Rita, and Victoria looked at chrysanthemum longingly. Call me Marigold, said Joe. I'm Carnation, said Rita, pointing. My name is Lily of the Valley, said Victoria. Chrysanthemum did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She knew it. Epilogue. Overall, the class musical was a huge success. Chrysanthemum was absolutely perfect as a daisy. Victoria made the only mistake. She completely forgot her lines as the dainty fairy queen. Chrysanthemum thought it was wildly funny, and she giggled throughout the entire dance to the flowers. Eventually, Miss Twinkle gave birth to a healthy baby girl, and, of course, she named her Chrysanthemum. The end. How did you like that story? I love it. I love how she feels so proud of her name, but I don't like the way that her friends treat her in the beginning of the story. They pick on her and it shows how she feels when they talk to her that way. How would you help Chrysanthemum out? Anyways, I'm Mr. Sepchik. This story was Chrysanthemum, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.